We're here on Grand Cayman uh, with Fraser Allen, who is uh, field operations with uh, MRCU, Mosquito Research and Control Unit uh, for the Cayman Islands. And Fraser worked very hard with, with myself and others in the development of this Vectovac WDG aerial spray technology. It's a little different here than what we saw in the Florida Keys because of the speed of the aircraft and the squat width. We're applying at a much higher rate, approximately a uh, higher mix rate, I should say, We're approximately 24%. So Fraser, why don't you talk a little bit about this mixing system yeah. and the modifications <clears throat> you had to do to, uh, to achieve that mix. Yeah. One of the modifications that we had was this uh, tube here which recirculates back into the uh, Venturi system. Uh, we had a higher mix rate, so we had uh, a little bit of issue with the blockage in this uh, Venturi part that brings the chemical in. Um, but once we got that set up, we had the right flows and we have a, a nice uh, thicker mix in the, uh, eventually in the tank. Um, we load that into the plane and we're good to go. I'm here today with Richard Clough of MRCU, and Richard is chief pilot. Richard, the liquid larva sighting is something that's been developed quite recently, and it's, it's for the control of container mosquitoes, the Aedes aegypti, primarily here on the island. How does that type of application differ from, let's say, an adulticide application? Well, firstly, I think this, most of the species that we control with the aeroplane are not domestic mosquitoes as Aedes aegypti is. And so for us, it's pretty exciting that we can actually use aeroplanes to try to control Aedes aegypti, which is obviously a disease vector. Okay, Richard, the, the aircraft that you fly, what, what type of aircraft is it? It's a turbo thrush manufactured by Thrush Aircraft in Albany, Georgia. It's got a nearly 1,100 shaft horsepower engine. Maximum load is either 4,000 pounds or 550 gallons, and we operate it when we are spraying at around 145 miles an hour, so it's pretty productive. We are pumping out of just shy of 30 gallons, 29.5 gallons a minute, and we apply it at around 100 feet. Okay, so with a 500 gallon tank, it's quite a lot of acres you could cover it. I'm guessing around 2,000 acres in, in one tank. Exactly. Well, Richard, what type of atomizers do you have on, on the airship? They are AU-4000, short fan blades which are designed for the higher speed airplanes. Okay. Yeah. We've got four each side, so a total of eight. Total of eight. Yeah. Okay. You know, we've done work with the Florida Keys Mosquito Control District, and they have a regular operation that they run over Key West, and they're expanding it to other parts of, of the Keys. And that's all done with rotor wing, a different, different approach. Uh, and with fixed wing, what do you see as the advantages? Well, you know, they're both air airborne delivery systems, and I think you need to look at your jurisdiction, and um, the helicopter has the advantage that you can park it next to the treatment area, but in turn, you need some pretty serious support, mm -hmm. whereas we, we have to return to the airport for each load. On the other hand, we fly a lot faster, and we carry a lot bigger load. So I think you just have to look at the area that you're operating in and assess whether a helicopter or fixed wing suits you better. Thanks. 